Hello and welcome back to another instalment of the CNET experience. If you're the kind of person that enjoys getting out and exploring your surroundings, then stay tuned because in this video we are going to show you one of the funnest and most wholesome activities you can do in Hong Kong. The Tai Wai bike ride experience. So the first thing you need to do is get to Tai Wai where you can hire some push bikes. Getting to Tai Wai is pretty simple. Just hop on the East Rail NTR line from Mong Kok which will take you directly there. Get off at exit D and cross the road. There, down quite a small road, you'll see a shop with loads of bikes outside. The bikes are really good quality and only cost 100 Hong Kong dollars for the day. Make sure you bring a fully charged phone because you'll get a QR code on the receipt which brings up directions to the drop off point. Hi lads! Hiya. Now it's time to saddle up and enjoy the ride. It's a pretty long distance you've got ahead of you at this point but you're going to be riding on a fairly flat surface for pretty much the whole journey. So no need to stress, just take a gentle pace and admire the view. Go on. <laughs> oh, sick. Go on, overtake me if you dare. <laughs> when you're just under halfway through the journey, you'll come across the Science Park area, where there are loads of restaurants all along the riverfront. Not a bad pit stop, and check out that view. Some of the restaurants were quite pricey, but we managed to find a lunchtime deal for 100 Hong Kong dollars, including a drink. After that, we treated ourselves to an ice cream, which someone was very excited about. Once you're all replenished, keep going along the river where you start to come away from the city and the views just keep getting better and better. My pad boy. How are you mate? Just off the shot. <laughs> Is that no hands? Whoa! <laughs> oh, mate, I'm this one. Hey, on boy! <laughs> By this point you will have reached here and the drop off point is here but what we decided to do was go past the bike shop to a place called Clover Cove. It's quite a bit further, but seeing as we had already come so far, we thought it was definitely worth the extra push, and we weren't wrong. Riding down this road with the sea on both sides is breathtaking, and for sure the best way to round off an already pretty incredible trip. Once you've soaked up the views, it's time to hand the bikes back. Conveniently, there is a bus stop right outside that takes you back to Taiwan. It's that easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.